In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to select between Raspberry Pi and an Arduino on our electronic projects. I will not discuss on parts and features of Raspberry Pi as well as on Arduino board. I will not discuss on the pins, on the peripherals that it has, but I will go directly on the consideration on which is applicable on a particular usage. Number one on my list is what type of, of applications are you planning to do? There are projects and applications that is very specific only to a Raspberry Pi. First is image processing. Whenever you're doing an image processing project like a image recognition, like this facial recognition, this is in no question a Raspberry Pi project and not an Arduino project. The processing required on this is too much that the Arduino is not applicable on this. Next on our list of applications is an intensive network and cloud-based services. Well, best example of this is the Pi Hole. A Pi Hole is a very popular project in Raspberry Pi when you can block uh, different traffics on your network. You can block as well domains. You can check how many queries you have and then you can check the traffic on your network. Again, this type of application is not possible or it's very hard to accomplish with a Arduino and a Raspberry Pi with a microprocessor in it is the best suited for this. Next are the math hungry calculations like artificial intelligence and digital signal processing. This is somehow related on our first point, which is image processing. Any kind of heavy calculations is very applicable to a Raspberry Pi compared to an Arduino. Next are the applications that requires database systems like POS, inventory management, because Raspberry Pi has a huge memory compared to an Arduino. Lastly, there are applications that require human-machine interfaces and the port that is being used is HDMI, like for big LED displays. Just take note of these applications because these are the applications that is solely for a Raspberry Pi. Let's proceed now with the Arduino. First, this displays projects that are based on LEDs like digital clocks, scoreboards, queuing systems is very applicable for the Arduino. You can see many kinds of scoreboard like this and a microcontroller is the only brain of these scoreboards and definitely a, an Arduino is fit for these kinds of applications. Another applications of an Arduino are trigger based sensing like smoke sensors, security alarm for our doors and windows, water leak detectors, and etc. These are usually connected in some ways, if not just for alarm, if it's not connected to alarm, it's usually connected to GSM as well or some IoT and nodes. So in this application, an Arduino is also applicable for a reason that it's cheap, it is low power as well. Last on our list are the basic robotic platforms like line following, sumo bot, obstacle avoidance, hexapod, and drone controller. This kind of maze solver project can be used with the Arduino these are the list of applications that is basically dedicated or perfectly matched to an Arduino board. After the applications, the next consideration is the power requirements. Some of our projects is powered by a battery. Some are connected to our AC line. Also, some are solar powered. This is a big consideration as well on our project. 
Aside from the type of application, this is something that you have to consider as well. When it comes to low power features, Arduino requires less power. It can also operate in low power mode in which the microcontroller can sleep and shut down majority of its features so that it can save power. It's also called the sleep mode. Also, an Arduino can be easily powered by a battery and various type of DC sources. Just like what you see in this video, a 9 volts battery here is directly connected to a DC jack. Let's now proceed on the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi needs a stable 5 volts DC source and it should have the enough current output so that the Raspberry Pi can boot up properly. Usually, a Raspberry Pi is not applicable for low power applications unlike our Arduino board because the Raspberry Pi has a more extensive processes just like what I've mentioned on the applications. The common source of power for a Raspberry Pi that is portable is a USB power bank. As you see, this Raspberry Pi is powered by this power bank and then connected to its USB input. Generally, Arduino and RPi can be both used for portable or AC-powered applications. But these are the considerations on your projects when it comes to power. That is very important because our electronics depends on it. Next on our list is programming. We are now in this portion that I need to ask you if you are an electrical engineer or a software engineer. Why? Let's discuss first the Raspberry Pi. It has a Linux operating system in it that can process scripts, Python codes, and source codes that is usually requires a powerful microprocessor. I ask you about it because in this kind of environment, a software engineer has an easier grasp on this. On the other hand, Arduino is primarily programmed in C language. A microcontroller is inside an Arduino board with a very limited resource in terms of RAM and ROM. Also, since Arduino is more attached to hardware concepts, this is easily grasped by an electrical engineer. So, in the standpoint on which the developer is coming from, that's also a good judgment on what to use. That is also one of our considerations. If you are an electrical or a software engineering in background. Last on our list is cost. Few things we can ask regarding the concept of cost. Is this for a hobby? Is this work-related? Self-learning? Because the RPi and the Arduino have a difference in terms of price. An Arduino is cheap. You can buy, buy it for as low as 3 USD. There are many cheap clones in, chi in China as well that just work fine. Also, Arduino has many varieties and flavor like Uno, Mega, Nano, 3.3 which is the new family that is being introduced as well as the Portenta H7 that is marketed for industrial applications. Lastly, the Arduino community has many dirt chip and popular modules like sensors, communication modules, and other peripherals. But these are mostly usable to Raspberry Pi as well. On the other hand, a Raspberry Pi is cheap if you compare it to a whole computer, but it is more expensive if compared to an Arduino. Our Pi cost is around 35 USD as a starting point. Raspberry Pi has also some peripherals that are more expensive than the ones that we get from the Arduino their chip modules. I hope you find this video interesting and useful. If you have any comments and questions, just put it down below.
I always upload video daily and if you want to have more of this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.